Editor, can we talk a bit? I'm sorry for last night. I made a big mistake. I am talking to you, don't you hear? Will you answer? Say something. Go fry an egg. Edger! Alvan, I said go fry an egg. I don't want to see your face. My marriage was ruined because of lies you told. I've lost the woman of my life. You succeeded. You see, you succeeded. What did you expect? What else, huh? Don't you understand? I'm in love with you. That's enough. Don't talk nonsense. Edger, that girl doesn't love you. Can she love you as much as me? Can she endure what I endured? Can she ever risk that for you? Get out of my sight. I will cause an accident. loved you, would she have gone? Edger! Answer me, huh? Edger! I beg you. You cannot go without hearing. Did you give me importance? Did you ever care for me? Elvan, don't make me hurt you. You cannot hurt me anymore. And I'll never forget that night words you whispered in my ear seems like yesterday. Enough! You should shut up. That night was an accident. You'll forget that night, okay? You'll forget like I did. Don't forget why you're here, okay? Don't make up dreams that aren't true. Stop following me like you're a stalker. You understand? My wife's name is Nagmi, and you owe your life to her. Don't ever say these things again. Don't dare. What do you want from me? Can we talk a little bit, Edgter? You have said what you wanted. Is there anything to say? It seems like you want to send me away, like you're looking forward to sending me away. I thought I had brought a strong woman with me. I thought that you were a guy who protected his love, Edgter. You cannot call me weak. I have given up my life and my future for you. That's true. Now you have given up on me. So go. Let's go then. Go on. Go on and leave my life. You are rude, and you are cruel. I am rude. I am cruel. You didn't even tell me to my face you wanted a divorce. Now you are calling me rude? If it is over for you, it is over for me too. I didn't sign or send the papers. It was my dumb mom. I have come to tell you that that signature wasn't mine. That is what I came here to tell you, Edgter. What is it you want? I want you to protect us. I want to know that you love me. And I never want you to leave. Let's go. Edgter? We're going. Edgter, where are we going? Come on. Get in. Edgter, where are we going? Okay, dear. Oh, no, don't cry. Okay, my honey, don't cry. Okay.
Okay, my dear. Darling, oh. Okay, okay, don't cry. Where are you, Tayar? Where are you? Okay, okay. Now what am I going to do? She has got a high fever, I think. Hey, Hatice! What's happening? Why is she She's crying? She's had a high fever since last night, and I couldn't reduce it. Tell me, then, where is Tayar? He isn't answering. I would be very surprised if he was useful at all. It's okay, dear. Give her to me. Oh, oh, my dear has a fever. She has a fever. Why didn't you take her to the doctor? Oh, but I couldn't think and I couldn't know. Why didn't you call Ali then? My God. Uh, okay, baby. Uh, okay, my dear. Okay, darling. Okay. okay. Ali! Come, we need to go to the hospital. Go get the car. I'm coming, lady. I'm coming. Quick, quick. Go get the car. Okay. okay, okay. Get in. Get in. Get in. Oh, oh my dear. Oh, yes, my dear. She has become miserable. That's it. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on, Ali. Where are we going? Tell me where we're going. Just be patient. We're nearly there. Welcome, miss. And welcome, sir. Thank you, Brother Hyrie. It has been a long time since anybody came here. It's so nice to have you come. What is happening? Brother Hyrie. Nagme. She's my wife. Brother Hyrie's known me since childhood. He looks after the hunting lodge. My father used to take us hunting on a whim. Brother Hyrie would do his best to entertain us. May I be excused, sir? Thank you, brother. Mm. Come inside. because of you. Look at my situation. If I get caught, they'll kick me to the curb. I made a mistake, Mrs. Barraquette. I wanted you to lend me money. But you didn't give me any. Sukran? Sukran! Oh, lady, are you out there? Oh, may God bless you, dear lady. May God bless you also. I don't know what I would do if you weren't here. Don't forget the medicine that the doctor gave you. Don't forget to give them now at the correct hour so the kid will Her get fever them. has gone down. Thank you, lady. Oh, thank you, God. Thank, thank you. God. Thank you, brother. It was no problem. 
let me know if anything else happens, will you? I will take care of her until morning and tell you if something happens. Look, Tayar is still not here. Tell him to come in the morning. Of course, if he can find his way home. Of course, Come with me, Sukran. You can go to come your on. home. So comes and wants money from me. God knows for what, irresponsible guy. I will pull his ears, lady. Even if you pull his ears, what would be the point, damn it? He will just do it again. We were mistaken. Tayar is the last person to handle a child. <sighs> this poor baby's mother died. And her father is not even here. From now on, she will know that you are her mother and your husband's dad. Now you may embrace her as your own child. Don't worry anymore, Suela. I will have eyes only for her. Here you are. Take your baby and go. How could we know this would happen, Miss Barakat? We relied on Hatis. Hatis embraces my grandchild as if she were her own child. But Tayar does it at all. I do not feel comfortable, Sukran. And even if I don't accept Lale as Ejder's child, I am afraid that something will happen to her. I will be more careful from now on, lady. I'll check on Lale more often. I will also protect Hadis. <sighs> and to top it all, we are also dealing with Elvan and Tayar, too. Can this be real? Haven't you understood, my princess? I will never leave you. Even after I die. Promise not to upset me ever again. I will never hurt you again. Mm. And I will never leave you. Never. Besame. To hear? What happened? What's going on? Come in. I had such a bad dream. Oh. And I couldn't sleep. I went to my mom, but she was angry with me. She said, you're an adult now and go to your own bed. Maybe I can sleep with you. Come on. Come here, of course. Oh, you're very handsome, aren't you? Oh, my honey, calm down. Do not be afraid now. You would tell me stories of the past, remember? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me again? Okay. Which one do you want? What about the bald boy? About the one who always rescues the princess in the forest? Okay. Once upon a time, a long time ago, in a big forest, near where the mountains end, there is a village where a bald boy lived and where he played as well. This bald boy only has his mother. And his mother only has her bald boy. Uh, edge terror. Slow down, slow down, be careful. Okay. Edge terror, what is happening? so beautiful. I hope I don't get a heart attack from living with you, though. I can do everything for you now. <laughs> everything. Have a seat. Hmm? I got up really early. And I went and picked tomatoes. My 
Are you not liking my surprise? Just the opposite. I thought that I had died of joy. But the things in that house... The way that everybody looked at me and their attitudes... But for right now, it's you and me. There's nothing in the world that can go against our love. <laughs> if you and I are together, nothing and no one can separate us. Edgedar. Yes, my princess. I do love you. And I love you too. <laughs> Bon appetit. Sen benimsin, meleğimsin, dile gelmez, şiirimsin. Sen benimsin, nefesimsin, şu dünyada yüzümü güldürensin. Sen benimsin, beni benden edensin, her şiirimsin. Bir tek senle içerim ben. Şarabını kana kana Tek seninle Gidelim ben Aşk yolunda Yana yana Çalsın hep Şarkılar Bizi ayıramazlar Sürsün hep Aşkımız Bitmesin Sonsuza kadar Bitmesin Nagme? Are you okay? I'm okay, Mom. Don't you worry. Where are you now? Are you with him again? I told you not to worry, Mom. What are you doing? Hello? Hello, Mrs. Navin? This is Edgeter. Is my daughter with you again? She is. She's with me now. There's no need to be worried. I want to talk to my daughter. Listen. I know you don't like what's happening. And why would I like it? It's ridiculous what the two of you did. Why don't we all meet together? We both want to talk to you. And I want to talk to you. Uh, Mrs. Nevin? She hung up on you, right? She's so sensitive lately. It'll be better if I don't see her until she calms down. I didn't have the chance to ask her permission. Let's go and pay respects. You're joking, aren't you? The moment my mother sees you, she will slam the door. I will find a way to convince her myself, so don't you worry. You don't know my stubborn mom, Edgeter. She doesn't ever back down. Hmm. Because I wasn't able to show you and everyone else I love you, I think I have an idea. Everything will be in due process. I will go and ask her permission. Hmm, and then... You will become my bride. And we'll have a real wedding. I will announce it to the world! And then everyone will hear. You will announce it to the world? I will. If you want, I can start now. Edgeter! I am so in love with Nagme! Uh, okay, Edgeter. Nagme! I really love you! You are crazy! Okay, I believe you! Come on! <laughs> Thank you. 
I love you so much. And I love you so much. <laughs> well, didn't he answer? Where has Azdair gone? He didn't come home last night. I wonder if something has happened. I'm afraid that Basir dog might do something. Oh, God forbid, Mother. Don't even think such things. You know bad news travels fast, and we would have been informed. Where has that boy gone, then? What if he went after that girl? You must be kidding. Ejdair is proud, you know. He wouldn't run after a girl who sent him divorce papers. And you will see. This is over. I disagree. I believe that Nagme and Uncle will make peace. Shh. You really need to learn to mind your own business. The girl has sent papers for divorce, so tell me how they can make peace. Don't you ever watch the movies? First they fight and then they fall in love. Don't speak all this nonsense, Daphne. Now shut up or I'll give you a beating and learn to mind your own business. Eshter, Eshter, darling, where are you? Hey, Mom. Why didn't you answer your phone? We were all worried. Nothing happened to you. You're okay, right? Don't you worry. I'm fine. Where are you and when are you coming home? I will come, but after I shop for the wedding. Wedding? What wedding? Oh, look, come over here. Tell Ali and Tayyar to start. Start the preparations now. Hey, come here. Oh, look how sweet you are. My wedding is tonight. I, I don't understand. What are you saying? Didn't the girl leave yesterday? Weren't the divorce proceedings started? Just do what I tell you. Come here. What? Uh, Grandmother! Her cat, are, are you, you okay? okay? Mother, what happened? Uh, Daphne, get uh, some water. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, I'm Calm down. Uh, Just relax. What uh, wedding is Edgeter talking about? So did they make peace? Oh. Uh, but goodness, uh, things were bad enough uh, when the divorce papers were being filed. Uh, when do they both make up? Uh, oh no, this isn't good at all. We just can't get rid of her. <laughs> You've wasted your time coming here because I am not giving my consent to this. Oh, come on, Mom. Edgeter, I warned you about this. And I know. Everything happened suddenly. We sat at the wedding table without telling you. But give us a chance to fix our mistake. I have come here to ask your permission. You are both kidding me, right? You have come here to ask my permission? You have ruined my daughter's future. You have prevented her going to Paris. You got married in such a rush and then held her captive. If you love her like you say you do, you could at least wait until she's finished school. Mrs. Nevin, I have fallen in love with her. How could I think of sending her? There is no point in even talking to you. You already got married. Do you even care what I think? If you do, then you should listen. You cannot be happy together. I'll tell you why. Your worlds are different from each other. You cannot understand what I am telling you. One day your love will crash with the reality. On that day you'll understand what I'm saying. Not that you even bothered to ask before. As I said, there is no point in this. Listen, that is enough. You can either accept this marriage or you can fight it. It is your decision. I invite you to my wedding as your daughter. And if you want to come, then come. Then here is my decision. I'm not coming. As you wish. Look, the chairs aren't even ready. We better help. How do these go? Do you know? Do we fasten them? We got this, ma'am. You don't need to. Okay, there you go. When are the musicians arriving? I don't know, ma'am. Hatis, come here. 
Let's see how the cooks are doing. How are the meals coming? Tahir, try not to get too dirty before the wedding gets started. He's not listening to me. Lord Shukran, there is so much going on. I've never seen so much presentation. I swear, I don't understand, Mrs. Besame. And Mr. Ejder brought the cooks from the city. Some men came with the table arrangements, and some other men came with decorations. Everyone who came said, Mr. Ejder sent us and entered. So why did he call us? Mr. Ejder didn't leave us anything to do. Why won't he let us do this all ourselves? It seems Mr. Ejder gives so much importance to the wedding that he's thought of the details. Hello? Girl, what are you doing here? I've come to see Alvan. Oh. What is happening here? It's Mr. Ejder's wedding. What? Sister Safika! What's happening? What is all of this for? These decorations for Ejder's wedding. It's this evening. His wedding? Yes, that's right. <sighs> but how? If you had behaved accordingly, you should be shocked. If you had lived life properly, then all of this would be for you now. Go on, don't get in anyone's way. No, impossible. Wait, sister. Take her. Oh no. Get her out of here. Come, sister, come, come, calm down. Come. Benimsin, kaderimsin, yüreğimde açan tek çiçeğimsin Sen benimsin, meleğimsin, dile gelmez şiirimsin Sen benimsin, nefesimsin, şu dünyada yüzümü güldürensin Sen benimsin, beni benden edensin, her şiirimsin Why 
messing around, Hattie's. Get dressed. The wedding will start soon. So what's up, Tayar? Since when have you liked weddings? That's true. I don't like going to weddings. But then, this wedding is different. This is Mr. Edge Dares. I will be wild. I'll be happy, dancing with joy. And then, I'll talk with Mrs. Barraquette about an important issue. What the hell are you doing, Tayar, huh? What are you up to? In the morning, I told you to go to Mrs. Barraquette. Now you look all fancy and stuff, and you want to go dancing? My girl. Come here, my sweetie girl. Huh? Such a sweetie girl. Such a sweetie girl, honey. Get your nose out of my business and dress her up beautifully. Come on. You are up to no good, but we will see. My dear Isaac. Don't call me my dear. Dishonest. What's happening? You have to calm down. And how can I calm down? My sister is in ruins. You said you loved her, huh? But you beat her to a bloody pulp. She nearly died because of you. You have dragged Elvon through the dirt, Feyaz. Don't you say such things. I didn't want it to be so. But Elvon had made a mistake before me. With love, a man can put up with everything. He can forgive many mistakes. You don't even have a jot of love. That's not true. I do love Elvon. In spite of everything! Cut out the crap. Men in love don't act like this. That's what I think. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Baraket Sultan, my Sultan, my dear mother. Please don't worry me on my wedding day. Let's go downstairs together. If I go through my wedding without you, I'll resent it. And what about the resentment that I feel as your mother, Ejder? You are marrying a girl that I don't want without my permission. Moreover, you have planned the whole wedding. 
If you don't care about any of my ideas, then what's the point of even going? I understand you. If you don't go, then I won't either. Look, if we don't, we will lose face. Let me take your hand. Then let's go downstairs. Mother, please don't upset me now. Hello, daughter. Oh, hello. Oh, mother. Oh, mom. You're welcome. But welcome to you. children. Even if you are angry or cross, you cannot turn your back on them. You are right. And I will not go without my daughter. And I won't let you upset her. Have a seat. You know that this is where I grew up. Mm -hmm. more incredibly wealthy now. Yeah.
Yes, hello. Look, I am at my brother's wedding. Is it time to talk about money now? Ow, I'm not going anywhere. I said I will pay the debt. with me? Oh, dear, you know that I can't dance. Oh, you don't have to be perfect, Dad, please. Oh, come on, Dad, please try. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, okay. Come to daddy here. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Up you go. Oh, look, 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 look. Look, 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 huh? Look, they're having fun, huh? I know, Lale. Is Edge Dare's beautiful daughter, Mrs. Barraquette. What are you talking about? It's just so clear why you employed us and put us here. In order not to send your granddaughter away. And of course you're right. For she is your granddaughter. I don't know where on earth you learned all of this, but they have deceived you. Well, you weren't saying the same thing to Sukran. You said it with your own mouth. And I heard it with my ears. Don't try to deny it. But don't you worry. Nobody will learn this. I won't tell anyone. It'll be our little secret. Of course, if you give me what I want. You've palmed your son's bastard on us. Okay, I know I love Lale, but everything is mutual, as you know. You will give me the money I want, and without any trouble at all from anyone, you hear? And I will keep my mouth closed. I don't want to disturb the order we have. There is no money. I won't give you one freaking penny, you no good dog. You have worked here for years and now you should be ashamed. Oh, you won't pay? We've worked and earned it. You've used us in your conspiracy. Oh. Now you will give me what I want. No, I won't. Is that so? Okay, then, it's not my fault. If you want to tell them, I don't care. Go ahead. Is that so? not the type of woman to deny your son's happiness for a little money. You know better. I think you better be careful, Tyar. Have you forgotten who I am? Go and tell Ejder. Lale's really your daughter. Go on. Why are you waiting? I have done my best to separate Ejder from this girl, but I couldn't do it. Now you'll do the same thing for me. Should I also give money to prevent you? Go ahead. You're lying. 
Hey, you're lying! <laughs> Look, if I start with Edge there and tell everyone one by one, hmm. all hell will break loose. Think about it, Mrs. Barraquette. Mr. Edgedare has a child from a dumb handmaid. What would people say? And Edgedare? Tell me. Could he handle all of this mess? Huh? It's not my fault, Mrs. Barraquette. I'll go tell Mr. Edgedare everything. Is this your decision? Do whatever you want. Oh, really? Go ahead. Mr. Edgedare, I need to tell you something. What would you like to say, Tyar? Mr. Edge there. Lale. Tyar! Yes, my lady? I need to ask you something. Okay, Mrs. Barraquette, I'll be right here. It's a village tradition. The bride holds the baby on her lap. Uh -huh. So she will have a baby quickly. Yes, come here. Oh, you're so beautiful. May God bless you with a long oh, marriage. Child. May you have a beautiful daughter like Lale. If God allows. Come here. Lale. Oh, she's very pretty. Lale? Oh, you're such a sweetie. Such a sweetie, right? Uh, sweetie girl. Hey. A peekaboo. See? I love you very much, Edgder. So goodbye. No! Ah! Let me go! Let Elvon! me go! Ah! Elvon, no! no! Let me go! You cannot give no! up on your life, you hear me? No, you will let me go! Let me I won't! Go! I won't give up ever on you, so stop it! It's let over, stop. I promise! Let me go! I will no, stay by your away. side! No! Enough! No! Elvon! Elvon, are you all right? You made the right move, Lady Barraquette. Let us not muddy the water. Let's go ahead and finish the job. I think we should close this. Now give me my money. Are you that crazy? Is this the right time? Do you expect me to just leave? After all, it's a five minute job. Well, it won't happen. We would draw attention. Lady Barraquette, I need this money now. I want my hush money now. Or I will mess this whole wedding up. acting strange. Huh? I told him to look after the child, and he gave her away. We were delighted. <laughs> so, will a thousand liras be enough? One thousand lira won't even begin to be enough. Twenty thousand. Oh, no, that's not enough. Make it 30. How am I supposed to find that in the middle of the night? 
Well, now, it's none of my business, but I think you'll find a way. 20,000, and that's the price. I'll be back in a minute, baby. Okay. Edster, my congratulations, and may the good Lord bless you. Thanks a lot. Yes. So here is 5,000. Take this for now, and I'll give the rest tomorrow. Oh, well, what to do? I guess I'll wait. Mother, why did you run back inside? What's that money for? Uh, for Lale. The little girl has been very sick. I couldn't find in my heart to take her to a state hospital. I wanted them to take her to a private one and get her treatment. Sorry to hear that, Tayar. Anything I can do? No, Mr. Edge there. And may God bless you. Lady Barraquette has helped us quite enough. May God bless you also, Lady Barraquette. I will never forget. Mr. Edge there? Hope she's better. God bless your hearts. Better go as well. Daughter. Oh, Father. Good luck again, daughter. I hope you will be very happy. Thank you so much, Father. My son-in-law. So then, take good care of my daughter. Please, sir, don't worry. Oh, Mother. Just because I have come here does not mean that I approve of this marriage. I came so you wouldn't be alone, so you could keep your head up and to make sure that you still know, I have not forgiven you. Why are you doing this now, Mother? Why don't you ever support me just one time? Will you just look at these women? Do you see... Do you see anyone smiling? You'll be like them in no time. Is it not obvious that you can't be happy here? Niven, we should really go. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. I thank you for coming. And when are you going back to Istanbul? I am not. I have decided to stay here for Nagme. I will not leave my daughter in the lion's den. Look how she gives herself airs. How she enjoys looking down, looking down on us all. So what? Let her mind her business. Didn't her husband divorce her, and she doesn't like us? Oh, my God. Come, uh, come, come. Come. My mother has done it again. Within two minutes, she has insulted everybody. Let it go. It doesn't matter. Today is our wedding day. No one can begin to upset us. Come on. Just sit back.
Look, my sister has cooked your favorite meal, brother. Come on, son. Eat a couple of bites, and it will help you build up your strength. What happened to your hand? It's nothing, Vizier. What do you mean, nothing? It's hurt. Uh, it was an accident. Were you fighting? Oh, it's nothing serious, Basir. It just happened while he was joking with friends. You stay out of it. It's because of Elvan, right? Brother. What brother, man? What brother? Everyone is gossiping about us. And you couldn't bear it, right? I don't want you to worry. This isn't over yet. Basir! That's enough already. Will you drop it, boy? And we have had such a run of bad luck. Let them say whatever they want to say. Is this more valuable than your life, boy? So then I got beaten for nothing, huh? And I got insulted for nothing. Everybody is going to pay for what they have done. Look at me. If you go and act crazy, I won't give my own maternity blessing upon you. I know what I have to do. It's not over. Elvani, you okay? You fainted. Don't be scared, okay? I won't hurt you in any way. You won't live in that house like a parasite. We're leaving here. We'll make a new start. We'll start all over again. Elvan, are you okay? All I know is that I love you so much. I've been such a fool. I've been such a total fool. I shouldn't have given up on you. I will never leave you again. Stop the car right now. Elvan, calm down. I said stop the car now. Elvan, please stop. Stop the car or I'll jump out the damn window. We'll start all over again. Stop it now. Stop. Elvan, stop, stop. now. I said Elvan, stop I'm the begging. car right now. Give us a chance. I know you're still mad at me. But I will redeem myself, so please, why don't you understand? I know that I love you. I know I do. I'm madly in love. Don't you touch me now. Never. Don't you ever touch me again. You lost that chance long ago. Don't show your face to me again. You get out of my sight. <laughs> no one will ever love you. No one will take you but me. You will be no one's lover. You really think so? Don't leave me. There isn't anyone who will take you, Elvan. So will you go back to Edgeter then? Do you think he will marry you? Will he spoil his happiness just to have someone like you? He was only playing with you. Now he doesn't even look at your face. You refuse me because of him. Please don't leave me. Elvan, please forgive me. Elvan! Elvan, I'm begging you. <laughs> oh, Wedgter. Huh? Oh. Hold me tight. Don't you drop me. I won't, so don't you worry. <laughs> you are the most beautiful bride ever. And I will swear to you, I will make you happy until the end of my life. <sighs>
Tayar. Tayar. Are you still sleeping this late? Huh? Let's go. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. People have been awake a while. Mr. Samal will ask for something now. So get up. Oh, go fry an egg, Hatis. Stop. I'm not kidding. You really need to move it now. Wake up. Uh, what? What? I got what? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, what? Huh? Uh. Well, of course you need to wake up. What are they supposed to do now? Fire us? Huh? Don't you worry, they cannot fire us. Uh-huh, like you would know. They would not even give us a quarter, and then they'd kick us to the curb. Hi there, Miss Lale girl. Uh-huh. Uh, all right? Look, give her food always, and don't let her cry. Come on, my girl, let's play now. Let's play. Look at me. I've always doted on her, and I always will. There is nothing different. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Shall I play with you now? Is it okay? Good girl. You stay here, pretty girl. How does he ruin such a lovely jacket? Where did all this money come from? You are gambling again, aren't you? I don't have to account to you. Mind your own business. Go. you spend with me must be more colorful and beautiful so that you cannot give up on me ever because I'll never give up on you <laughs> all of the notes in the world have come together and created this beautiful song <laughs> Good morning, how are you? Good morning, beautiful bride. Have you seen Ejder? Mr. Ejder woke up early and went to cook. He has a surprise, and he made it himself. <laughs> Mrs. Bride, you will get cold. I'll bring you slippers. You wait here, I'll go get them. No, no, there's no need, I'm fine, but thank you so much. <laughs> oh, to be that young. Ejder, look at you. Good morning, my beauty. This is breakfast for a princess, just the way she likes. Well, I married a great chef. So where would you care to be served, dear? Well, here's a good spot for breakfast. Mm. It has really good energy. <laughs> and besides, it's far away from the crowd and from curious eyes. You are the sexiest that I have ever seen. I almost don't have the heart to look at you. Thanks a lot. And you were very handsome. 
Here you go, my dear. You love honey with cream. Thanks, Aunt Besame. You leave that. You need to eat something salty first. Okay, okay. After that, you can eat it. Right, look. Do not make a payment to anyone before. Just let him sit and wait a while, if you need to. <sighs> like a wet weekend in the morning. Tayar started gambling. I found a large wad of money he was hiding. He wouldn't tell me where it came from. Well, you can't teach a dog new tricks. May the devil curse him. Okay, you pour the tea. Hatice. No one will start breakfast until everyone is sitting down. Go and call Ejder and Nagme and tell them to sit down. I guess we won't be able to teach that bride to be on time for breakfast. Well, uh, my lady, Mr. Ejder made breakfast for Mrs. Bride in the kitchen. They already started, I think. Hmm. A new tradition. Who ever heard of setting two tables in this house? Well, you sent him to school, but then no one was watching him because a girl came and whirled your son away. Isn't that right, Lady Barricade? Huh? Look, I am telling you, this boy has long become a man about town. He is putting her on a pedestal, a pedestal, and he will pay the piper himself. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.